Hey guys, Irfan here from my booth. Now this video is going to be about this mini pocket projector from ViewSonic, but at the same time, I will also be announcing the winner of last week's giveaway of this TP-Link home security camera called Tabo. So stay tuned. Welcome back to my booth, Irfan here, and today I have an LED powered pocket projector from ViewSonic. Now I once bought a brand new ViewSonic wireless mouse at a tech fair and it never worked, which pissed me off. Let's see if this projector can change my views about them. This one is called the M1 Mini and sells for $190 on their website. However, I did find it for $170 on a different website, which is weird. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Here is the box, pretty colorful. It has a ton of barcodes, but absolutely no mention of any specifications, none at all. Inside the box, we have the projector. I got the green color, even though I like the gray one more, but it was later I discovered that they actually put in all the three color plates in the box, which are easily interchangeable. Other than that, there is a micro USB cable for charging, a remote control, uh, a strap, and a quick start guide, which again has absolutely no specs, just a setup guide. The projector is quite small, real pocket size. It's 4 by 4 inches and a little more than an inch thick. You've got the power button, an HDMI port, a USB-A port, uh, and a micro USB port for charging. There's a bunch of vents all around and uh, then there is this stand which goes 90 degrees up and down and at the same time it also covers the lens when closed. There's a wheel next to the lens which is for focus control. Now one thing clearly missing is a tripod mount screw hole which is odd because the only way you can use this is by placing it on a flat surface but you don't have to end up watching a skewed video and I'll tell you why in a moment. Let's power it on first. It can be powered through a standard phone charger socket or a power bank. Even better there is a built in battery which can give uh, 2 hours and 15 minutes of playtime on a full charge. The only way you can feed media is through this USB-A port or the HDMI port. So basically you can connect it to your PC, TV box and whatnot, or use a hard drive. I have loaded a couple of videos and pictures into this flash drive to test it. Talking about projection size, it can go from 24 inches all the way up to 100 inches. Thanks to its uh, short throw lens, it can project a 39 inch screen from just 3 feet away. The brightness is 50 ANSI lumens, which might seem low, but it's actually equivalent to around 350 of the standard uh, lumen ratings which you see everywhere. Uh, and it is plenty bright for a small projector. Just for your information, most of the projectors with brightness ratings of 1000 or so lumens on Amazon or other e-commerce websites are actually fake. That is why they never use the ANSI units, which is the standardized unit used for brightness. You can clearly see the projection is quite bright even in a decently lit environment. It has a basic user interface where you can go through photos, videos, audio and the settings. The native resolution of the projector is 854 by 480 pixels with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. It can easily support up to 1080p videos. You can put on a slideshow of the pictures, uh, play audio clips, videos. You can perform all the basic functions while playing video like pausing, fast forwarding or skipping to the next file. The projection is pretty solid, nice and bright uh, even if it isn't completely dark. The image is sharp and there is negligible blurring near the extreme edges which in most low cost projectors is a pretty serious issue. Now to tackle the missing tripod mount issue. So basically they have put in vertical keystone correction which will essentially project a correctly proportioned image even if the projector is not straight. And uh, if you raise or lower the lens it will recorrect itself. Now this is actually quite amazing. So you can project onto a wall or the ceiling without having to uh, keep the lens uh, exactly parallel to the projection surface. That being said, I still think it should have been compatible with a tripod. I think sticking a GoPro mount uh, to the belly of the projector uh, should do the trick if someone really wants it. I have absolutely no complaints when it comes to the image quality or brightness. I think it is great. The image is sharp, clarity is great and the colors are vivid. I tried watching my own YouTube videos on it along with some other high quality demos and it seems to be going great so far. I tried to stretch the projection all the way up to 100 inches. Uh, it is still visible but not very comfortably viewable and uh, plus the resolution is 480p so the more you stretch it the bigger the pixels will appear. I found the 50 to 60 inch range very crisp and bright and big enough for a group of people to watch with ease. 
I also connected it to my laptop to play some uh, old school games and it turned out to be uh, kind of fun. I don't think games with uh, high graphic settings will be great on it but for retro games it's cool. You can of course also use it for PowerPoint presentations but I don't want to bore you with those demos. Uh, oh yeah and not to forget the sound. It has a 2 watts uh, speaker by JBL which is surprisingly good, clear audio and uh, loud enough in a small room or even outdoors in close proximity. So yeah, it's a full package, it's portable, great picture quality, uh, decent brightness so you don't have to squint your eyes, built in battery with more than 2 hours of playtime, enough media input methods, auto keystone correction, 480p native resolution and a decently loud built in speaker. And it turns out I'm not even pissed off at them anymore for the faulty mouse. I'll leave the links in the description box below in case you want to check it out. Alright guys, finally it is time to see who has won this awesome gadget from TP-Link. Now if you've been to my channel before and seen my giveaways, I do the traditional take out the comments, uh, I print them out, cut them out, put them in a bowl and then pick a name at random but this time I have thought of something different, something more creative. So what I've done is I've taken all these comments which came in below the video who have actually subscribed to TP-Link's uh, YouTube channel and uh, their Instagram page and I put them on this website called Wheel of Names. I've entered all the names over here and then they come on a wheel. Now all I have to do is touch the wheel, it will spin and stop at a random name and that will be the winner. Alright, here we go. All right, Ahmad Khan, you have won yourself this beautiful, amazing home security camera from TP-Link. You can reach out to me on my Instagram page with your address details and the camera will be shipped to you directly. Congratulations once again. And if you would like to see more giveaways done on my channel, hit that like button below and share this video with your friends and family. That's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below, share the video with your friends and subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, DIYs and life hacks. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Instructables. All the links are in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.